Well, the Nintendo Switch 2 rumor mill appears to have just opened its floodgates today. Earlier in VG News, we covered a report from the Vandal Spanish website, which gave us some details based on their sources that happened to be an accessory manufacturing for the Nintendo Switch 2 about the system. Just to give you a quick recap so you don't have to go watch a separate video for that news, essentially that the controllers are going to be bigger than the current Joy-Cons and connect via some sort of magnet system. Uh, so there is that. And then on top of that, they also told us that the Pro controllers would still be compatible with the system, but the original Joy-Con wouldn't really be able to connect. Not saying that you can't use those Joy-Cons with the system, but you can't like use it in handheld mode. Oh, and that the system wouldn't be as big as, well, let's just say the Steam Deck. That was their words. It is what it is. Take that for what it is. We'll put a link down to that article down below if you want to check it out. They also noted that they were told that the reason that the Nintendo Switch is delayed to March of 2025 is because of the software lineup, not because of manufacturing or any other issues. So that's just reconfirmation of stuff that we've already been told from other places, but I'm just throwing that out there so you guys know that, but that's not actually what we're focusing on in this video. This video is focusing on some new rumors, and I'm going to emphasize the rumor bit here because these places are not like your typical, most reliable Nate the Hate kind of places. Uh, these are places where one of them is reputable, but it's not really sure on what the sourcing is in the article. And that's because of this news that we have over here from a Korean website. And yes, if you don't know, uh, that is where Samsung's manufacturing is primarily located, is in that area of the world, not directly in China. So their reporting on this, though, is very, very unsourced, which is why some people are wondering, even though this particular outlet is considered one of the more reliable ones in Korea. So that's what started us talking about this. And I'm sure you just want to know what the dang details are. So obviously we relied on Google Translate and other methods of gathering this information. And I made a, a little list here. I'll just briefly go over uh, well, so much of the Switch 2, and, and this is from that report, uh, is made up of Samsung technology that some are saying that it's actually more like a made by Samsung product for whatever that's worth. Uh, also says that the contracts indicate that there still is a possibility of a holiday 2024 release. Now, this is manufacturing contracts, uh, though that's, again, that, that that's just literally based on the fact that these contracts were probably already made before any sort of delay. Manufacturing contracts don't necessarily change just because they're going to release the system later. They're still probably going to make the systems on the same deadline that Nintendo already had set in the contracts. All right, they claim that T239 is not only still the chip being used, but it will be made on a 7 LPH process, which is 7 nanometer. I know a lot of people wanted 4 nanometer. Uh, we've seen some actual pretty good efficiency out of 8 nanometer with Lovelace, so we can't say that 7 nanometer is good or bad. Obviously, we just need to see how power efficient and how powerful the chip is for its given power efficiency. This doesn't really mean that much. Also, it's notable that the LPH process is not an officially confirmed thing from Samsung. It's been rumored to exist behind the scenes and been tied to the T239 for, I don't know, a, about a year. But even then, uh, this is still one of those things that if that is the process they're using to make the T239, it is not something that is currently in a public pipeline, which, hey, look, they said it's a fully custom chip. That could be part of the whole custom part is using a new processing pipeline. All right, moving on. Samsung's fifth generation VNAND will be used for internal and for cartridges. So we actually talked before about another rumor and report that suggested that that's the stuff they're going to use in their cartridges. This is saying they're also going to use it for their internal memory as well, which, yes, probably is a little bit faster than what was already on the Switch's internal memory. So take that for what you will. Uh, fifth generation, kind of interesting. I thought maybe they go with maybe a seventh generation, but we'll see what happens there. And then it says Samsung, apparently, this is also a really big one. They won the display contract over another Chinese company. This is what they're claiming. And what's big about that is while the article doesn't confirm or deny whether it's going to be an LCD or an OLED panel, Samsung doesn't make LCD panels anymore. They only make OLED or QLED type of panels. So I find it to be kind of interesting since they don't really dabble in the LCD space anymore. 
Nin Look, they make Nintendo Switch OLED's OLED panel. That's made by Samsung's manufacturing. So uh, this, to me, would seem to indicate that an OLED panel is in the works for Nintendo Switch. Uh, and I would switch to, I should say, whether or not that's at launch, because maybe they had displays made before this contract by somebody else, or if this is just for another model down the road, Nintendo's going to have multiple models at launch, one with an LCD, one with an OLED, kind of like what happened with Steam Deck. So I, again, the, these are things that we just don't know, but I, this is just based on that report out of Korea, which again, a little bit questionable. We also have this other user over on Twitter who... We've talked about in the past, but he doesn't have the most reliable track record, mostly because it doesn't seem that he does a lot of fact-checking with his sources. But given that some of this information lines up with the Korea stuff and his post went up before the Korea post existed, we're going to go ahead and at least glance at this. And as you see here, he says exclusive, which it's not really that exclusive because, well, I guess at the time he posted it, it might have felt that way. So Nintendo Switch 2 is expected to launch as early as the second half of this year. Significant contracts have already been negotiated with component industry for initial production. The Tegra T239, again, this is where you're seeing another uh, mention of the 7LPH, which again is not a processing note that's public, but has been rumored inside Samsung for a bit. Uh, the display being a Samsung OLED screen, he's just straight up saying it's OLED. But then he says with the exception that the LCD models may be released first. So he's saying that Sharp Display might have already been making LCD panels for this for launch. And then this could be obviously, you know, the Samsung OLED panels could be something that are used later on down the line. Now, I find that obviously to, to be just really interesting to kind of throw in some additional stuff that doesn't really go against what we said, kind of corroborate some stuff but now that's all really fine and dandy and look that's basically the brux of what the rumors are right now some think maybe the floodgates are starting to open up and, and i i can understand on some grounds because one thing i will say regardless of these rumors is that if the plan was originally if remember this is a big if the plan was from nintendo internally to launch this system even as of january this year say the plan was still to launch it this holiday, all these manufacturing contracts, whether with Samsung or other companies, would have already been negotiated, signed, and sealed before that delay that supposedly happened in February. So what I find really fascinating about that is even if the delay is due to software to March of 2025, which again, that's been corroborated by several different places, then I feel like that wouldn't stop manufacturing from happening when Nintendo said it was going to happen. Because when you buy manufacturing lines and you pay uh, to have these specific lines making your components, you, you, it's really hard to just like yank the contract and be like, hey, you know what? We don't actually want you to do this till December. Well, here's the problem. That company, and Samsung, will be taking contracts from other companies that also have their own deadlines and their own products that they want to use these manufacturing lines for. So, Nintendo can't just be like moving things around like that without it costing them a lot of money. And on top of that, they may not have the availability. That's one thing we saw during the pandemic is like, hey, you have to, we found out just, just from how hard it was to get certain electronics that you have these contracts made years ahead of time. It, you can't just suddenly get more because you don't want more. Uh, and you can't necessarily move manufacturing around just because you want to because they're not, you're not the only person people hiring them to make things. So I do think that even if it was delayed, it would be likely that Nintendo's standard manufacturing plan for this year to launch this holiday is probably still in place. And that's why we're getting some of this stuff as manufacturing is looking like it might be beginning here, heading into May, which again, makes a lot of sense. Like if they were gonna launch it this holiday, that would be the time that you would mass manufacture. It would also explain why now we're starting to get potential leaks. I'm gonna call them potential leaks since we can't confirm it, the rumors, but potential leaks coming from the manufacturing side could see more and more of these kind of leaks over the next month if that it truly is going into production. Because look, it hasn't even technically entered it. It's just getting to the point of starting produ production, supposedly based on these rumors. And if that's the case, you know, they're not even keeping that part under wraps because there's so many employees making these damn things. Uh, that information is obviously going to get out. So this happened with Switch, by the way, and it's happened with every system. This isn't like a new thing. Where do you think all the Apple and Samsung phone leaks all come from? It's from people who work there. They have thousands and thousands of employees working in these places. Information is just going to get out. It's just part of 
being in the industry. And that's why, obviously, a lot of companies like to get ahead of that information and announce things. May 7th might be a chance for Nintendo to get a little bit ahead and maybe not acknowledge these reports because Furukawa has been a pretty big denial mode around any report regarding Switch 2, but at least acknowledge the existence of the platform and the plan for it to come out this fiscal year. That is mostly what people are expecting, if anything, from Furukawa this upcoming May 7th. So we're going to leave it at that. Obviously, if the floodgates are opening, there will just be a bunch of it, more information we'll be able to talk about in the com upcoming weeks. This was not, again, my plan today. But you know what? I don't control the flow of information. I'm here just to bring it to you. So if you enjoy this stuff and you want to stay as up-to-date as possible on all things regarding Nintendo's next platform, whether rumor, fact, or otherwise, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.